Good evening. Welcome to This Week in Review. This week has been rather slow for news, with one exception, the weather. Close the emergency. Yes. There is no... I don't think I'd want to get up a no pole this morning. No, down here, by the way. I've got to leave the east. Yeah. You'll come to New Grand Lake. Yeah. What's the field here? Right. Better. Uh, Peninsula was particularly hard hit. We have six to eight foot drifts and power outages in several areas. Oh, yeah. We're stranded over here, right? Oh, well, I guess you are. You can tell me if the ferry's going to go ahead at all today. I no, I would say no, sir. Uh, you know, if you in the meantime, Selma all morning now, except for these rolls, so it's had to be good. Offering 25 to 50 percent off all winter boots and assisting the Salvation Army by asking you to drop a few shoes or boots for the needy. That's at all rope bar locations. Don't know. Well, I see you've been out spending the paycheck, Marge. Yes, my dear. Things are getting more expensive every day. Oh, I see you got your pre your date on here. I tell you the truth, I wouldn't have no other kind in my house. What's so special about them ones from P.E.L.? OCM News update at 11. We have snow and blowing snow minus last night in the middle of the current storm have been found safe and sound. This morning, one lady left her car on Freshwater Road. The other was traveling with her husband. Suffered. Yeah. 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 to motorists in Mount Pearl where the power outage is that uh, the street lights are not working so How do you enjoy the weather? I'm not. <laughs> I just thought that you know about the lights in Mount Pearl They're gone now. storm have been found safe and sound this morning. One lady had left her car on Freshwater Road and the other was traveling with her husband early today and suffered an attack of claustrophobia. When the snow moved in, she left the car but then did turn up safe and sound. The Buren Peninsula was particularly hard hit. We have six to eight foot drifts and power outages in several areas. 2,500 customers. Yeah, I don't know that happened. Don't you bring religious bigotry into it too now? Yeah. Does anybody give a name to that? that? Maybe no, no, nobody can see him. They don't know if they're working or not. That could be quite true. Anyway, I'll let you see the schedule on Holiday Lanes. Elizabeth Avenue cancel for the remainder of the day and this evening. The QB Local 1516 not required to report for work today. Come in line two. You're at VOCM Open Line. Oh, George, how are you? Uh, good talk. <laughs> are you enjoying the hot weather? I'm not. <laughs> I just called it, you know, about... storm have been found safe and sound this morning one lady had left her after thursday and friday's storm saturday was a rather warm and mild day i guess you could call it the calm before the storm because today it was stormy again
Most people are still a little confused about the government's newest creation, the GST. I would once again like to remind viewers that any story they know of, big or small, give me a call at 886-2935. I can't report it if I don't know about it. There is a council meeting scheduled for next week, after which we should know the results of the proposed Skidoo regulations. Hopefully, Mayor McDonald will be aligned to fill us in. As well, Mr. Collier should be aligned with the council report. Well, that's it for this week. Please stay tuned now for a bandwagon from last season. We will be taking requests for the upcoming bandwagon until closing time Tuesday. On behalf of BBS and BBS volunteers, I'm Dave Cooper. Have a great week. Good night.